Can you smell what's in the air? That's the smell of knowledge. Listen to your nose and let me share. Let's start with the parts of the nose that you can see. The nasion, root, and bridge are the first parts of three. Then the ala, apex, nostril, and columella are parts of your nose, whether you're a girl or a fella. Now let's move on to the inner parts of your nose. The nasal bone supports the upper bridge. Now you know the upper lateral cartilage forms your side walls. The septal cartilage runs down the center and it's tall. The minor alar cartilage is not very big. The major alar cartilage has two parts seen in this here fig. The accessory nasal cartilage sits on the side nose. Cartilage is flexible, connective tissue I've exposed. Can you smell what's in the air? That's the smell of knowledge. Listen to your nose and let me share. The first of your five senses that you use when you're a baby is your sense of smell. It is important to use this sense daily. Odor molecules are sniffed from the air into your nose. Most of the nasal cavity filters air while it does flow. Your olfactory epithelium's a little patch of skin. Its job is very large. It detects odor molecules brought in. When odor molecules reach the back of your nose, they get stuck to a layer of mucus where they start to dissolve. That's where they bind to the olfactory receptor cells. Then the signal's made and sent through the olfactory tract well. Your brain receives the info and deciphers these signals and tells your body whether it is good or whether it should go. Can you smell what's in the air? That's the smell of knowledge. Listen to your nose and let me share.